The film in which you are about to see is an account of the disaster in which befell a group of six young men. Early on June 24, 1967, ten men and women set off to explore the Mossdale Caverns in Yorkshire Dales located in the UK. Their mission, you ask? Map out the rest of the previously unknown cave, as well as to find the mysterious middle passage of Mossdale Beck, the river that runs right into the mouth of the cave. Although this one is one of the most deadliest caves in the UK. Known for its claustrophobic inducing tunnels and corridors, as well as its many flooded passageways. Of the ten divers, four of them, James, Morig, Colette, and John Shepard were just there on a sightseeing trip. As soon as they made it to the rough passage located here, we're going to head back to the entrance and head on home. While the other six men, 19-year-old William Frakes, 23-year-old Colin Vickers, 21-year-old John Ogden, 26-year-old David Adamson, 24-year-old Jeffrey Bauru, and the youngest, 17-year-old Michael Ryan. We're all heading to stream in at the end of the cavern to try to find the exit point and found themselves in the winding and very narrow passageway of Far Marathon located right here. Far Marathon is also considered one of the deadliest tunnels in the system due to its continuous stream running through it and very narrow corridor in which to crawl through. And by this time, John Ogden and the five others were already about 3.2 kilometers deep into the unmapped Mossdale Cavern. And only halfway through Far Marathon, one of the deadliest portions of the cave, when suddenly they heard a light rumbling coming from the entrance of the cave. Unfortunately for the young men, it was starting to rain right outside the entrance. And unbeknownst to them, the cave entrance had already been flooded 1.2 meters or 4 feet underwater. After that, the water came rushing into the cave through every pathway and flooded the entire structure. Ogden and the group were crawling through the narrow tunnel when they heard the rumble of the rushing water behind them. It spilled in, first rising up over their feet and then quickly climbing to their necks. Their only hope was a small crack in the rocks up ahead. Being the first in the group, Ogden forced himself up the fixture, pulling his head into a tiny air pocket just above the water. Unfortunately, there was no room for anyone else, and beneath him, all of his friends were drowning to death. It took days before anyone found him, and by then, he too was dead, still stuck there in that narrow pathway, struggling for his last gasp of air. Though moments after the initial flooding, Colette, one of the initial divers that came with the first group, came back to the cave entrance to make sure that the other six had made out safe when she noticed the rising river at the cave entrance. She and a local farmer then were able to gather up enough people for a large search party. They then started building up multiple dams along the entrance as to stop up the water. They then sent multiple emergency divers in to rescue them, but to no avail. The five men's bodies could only be moved to a safer portion of the cave. Unfortunately, John Ogden's body would disappear, only to be found a few years later, and then to be joined with the rest of his friends. Let this be a lesson that even the most experienced cave divers can still head for disaster. And be sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell for more content in the future. Goodbye for now.